So I've got a poem here that is 155 percent and um, for uh, the large size kits the poem leather screws are number six screws. Um, now if I put them in here uh, it might work but uh, there's also a chance that it will destroy the plastic. So the way to solve this is you have to ream the holes. Uh, the holes need to be made wider so that the screw will uh, will bite in well, but not um, uh, but not basically destroy the surrounding plastic. Um, so for a number six uh, screw um, <clears throat> in a large kit, uh, it's uh, well in all the kits it's the middle size drill bit. So. Uh, in this, the middle size one is the um, is the one eighth inch. Uh, there's a smaller one, which you use to um, to ream out the fingertips, and then there's the larger one that you use to ream out the um, the holes in the bracer. So uh, these holes, the larger size drill bit, is what you would use to make these. Uh, so when you encounter holes like this, like these holes uh, or these holes, they don't go all the way through. Um, uh, these holes do go through, uh, but for the ones that don't go all the way through, you have to be careful not to over drill because you don't want to drill all the way through the plastic to the other side. Um, that would uh, cause problems. <laughs> uh, well, for starters, it really wouldn't look good on the palm. So uh, we're going to uh, measure first to the depth of the holes. Uh, so let me grab a little piece of tape. And get something thin. I've got a little bit of nylon monofilament here, but anything you could unfold a, uh, a paper clip. Um, but uh, basically what you want to do is find any one of these holes that are about all the same depth. Just take that and I'm going to uh, uh, just tape a little piece here stick a little piece of tape on the top to mark how deep that hole is so you can see now that that's the depth of the hole. So that's how long I want to uh, drill uh, drill into there so I'm going to mark the drill bit to that depth and I'm not going to drill I'm not going to drill any further than that. So um, I'm actually going to use some more blue tape for that. So look at where the blue tape is on the on the uh, the depth uh, measurement and put another piece onto the actual drill bit at that same depth. Okay. And then I'm gonna wrap it around. Okay, so there it goes. Um, now, one nice trick is that if you've got a lot of tape, and I do, I got a, lot, a whole lot of tape here, you can um, uh, wind it tightly around the drill bit and put a substantial amount on there. And it really doesn't take very much tape because drill bits are so skinny to start with. Um, but I'm going to put on enough that it makes... See, what I'm doing here is I'm making a block here so that I can't over drill. And uh, you'll find that that's actually very important because uh, when this drill starts to turn, it's actually going to pull your, uh, your drill into the hole. Um, and you may not be able to pull back uh, quickly enough. Um, so that, that's pretty good. So you can see I've got, there's definitely a, a lip there, right? There's no way I'm going to be able to drill past the maximum depth. Okay. So um, <clears throat> here, this is a hex drill. Of course, you can use any kind of drill. And I've got the, um, uh, uh, this is wider tape. I, I generally recommend using the, the narrower one because it, it gives you a little bit more uh, space to uh, control 
the depth. Here you can see this one goes all the way down to the hilt. Um, so uh, three quarters inch is generally, generally preferable there. Here we have a few different drilling options. Uh, one that I like a lot is just this uh, uh, 10 or $12. It's uh, just a pin vise. You can uh, adjust the chuck here and use it to, uh, uh, to hold a drill bit. This is a, a hex bit, so it's uh, pretty wide there, but uh, this one will hold it. So we can, uh, we can drill the holes out that way. Let's see, just find a hole here. And then just turn it until it goes up to the tape, and then pull it out. That's, uh, that was really easy. Um, but uh, we have, you know, a couple other options. <clears throat> because I've got a, a hex bit here, uh, this one will actually go in in an electric screwdriver. Um, So I can do it with that too, and because of this tape, I don't have to worry so much about over drilling. Okay, so that worked great, and then, uh, and then of course, on an electric drill, I like to use a little rechargeable. Uh, low RPMs are very important. You want to use a a low RPM drill, so don't uh, don't get this thing spinning too fast, or else you're going to melt plastic, and it's actually going to end up uh, grabbing the drill bit, and then you'll have a drill bit melted into the plastic, and next time you start the drill, it will break because it'll be it'll be encased in the in the plastic. But actually, the clutch set on that not necessary. to use the tape. There's no way you're going to feel when you hit the bottom. Um, this thing's just going to want to drill all the way through if you don't have something to stop it. This uh, number six screw will um, uh, will bite in nicely, but it's not going to overstretch that hole when it goes in. Uh, so, so there you go. Eighth inch drill bit fits the number six sheet metal screw.